So what is a sculpture? A sculpture is a way to make art by modeling, carving, or attaching materials. Today we're going to be attaching. I am going to make a base with a cereal box to be the bottom part of my sculpture. I'm going to trim up this back of the cereal box here to a size that I would like for the base. Remember the base is what a sculpture stands on. You can make your base big or small depending on how much you would like to build on it. So one of our attachment techniques is the flange. So I'm just going to use the end of my scissors to cut little slits, trying to make them about the same size all the way around. And then you can fold these up and this will be a flange attachment technique. So that could be glued down like that. And then we'll do another one. I'm just using some paper towel tubes. You can cut these little pieces and then they can become a full circle, a squished circle. You could twist the circle and glue those down. These are just some options. You could do a slit. That's another attachment technique. So I'm going to cut a little piece on each side and then I'll do the same to this one. And then I can attach those using the slits. And those could go together depending on where you cut the slits depends on where you want to put those on another one. So there's another way. If I want to cut a piece out of this and make it more flat, I could just cut it like that and maybe cut it in half again to make it thinner. And then I'm going to cut tabs on each side and I'll fold this one toward me and the end toward me, but then maybe fold this one away from me. So then when I go to glue that onto my base, oh, I did these backward, let me try it this way. So it's folding them every other direction. So like that. So if you look down. So the tab and insert is cutting these again on a piece. These, I just did two slits. This one I'm gonna fold in half and cut a slit while it's folded so that when I open it, I can stick that one inside there, the one in the middle can get stuck in there and it's through the back and then I can stand this upright like this. So that's another way. So I've continued to play here. I've got flange, slot, and then when I put these together, um, if it's not staying up, obviously when you glue it, it will hold down but think about other things you could add on there. Maybe this goes this direction and then I slot it. I'm gonna put, cut some slits in here to see if I can get these two to go together. And I'm just kind of flipping that to the other direction just to make it have more interesting things going on. And again, remember 3D means you're looking at it from all. So remember sculpture is meant to be looked at from all sides, the front, the side, the back, so make sure as you work you're turning it around, it's three-dimensional, so it has a height, a width, and a depth, and go ahead and play around with those materials, add color to your cardboard either before or after if you choose, and I can't wait to see what you make.